Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way how to attach a background onto your query. A background on your query can just really help make it look a little bit better. So I always try and fit a background on my aquariums. And just before I show you this quick and easy method on how to put a background on your aquarium, if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out a lot. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure the glass is super clean where you're going to be attaching the background to. You need to make sure there's no dust, fingerprints or grease on the glass. Otherwise, you're going to see this when you put the background on and you really don't want to be taking the background off once it's on. It can be really hard to reattach the background, especially if the tank's all set up. So take your time when you're doing this, you want to make sure it's super clean. I'm using a rag that's dipped in a bit of alcohol that's used for cleaning, and this stuff seems to get rid of all the grease and fingerprints off the glass pretty easily. I found the best backgrounds for aquariums are the static film ones. These backgrounds don't use glue to attach them to the glass, so it's really good for your aquarium. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting out a piece of film that's just bigger than my aquarium. You want to make sure that the film's hanging over the sides of the aquarium, this will help later when you need to get a nice clean cut on the film. Because this film doesn't need glue to stick onto the back of the aquarium, we're going to be using water instead. I just put some tap water in a spray bottle and I spread the glass quite generously. Next you'll need to remove the protective plastic coating off the film. This is the part that's going to stick onto your aquarium. The background film is statically charged and because we spread the glass with water it kind of cancels out the static charge. This will let you move the film freely around the aquarium so you can line it up. And once we remove the excess water from the aquarium later, it will stick really well onto the aquarium. I'm using this kind of background on both my aquariums and they haven't peeled off at all. The next step you're going to need to do is to line up the plastic film with your aquarium. Because we've spread the glass with water, it allows us to move the film around the aquarium so it lines up just right. Take your time with this as you want to try and get a nice clean cut at the end. Now we need to remove the excess water from the glass. I'm using a bench scraper but you could also use a credit card, it does the job just as well. So what you need to do is press the scraper or credit card against the film to try and get rid of all the excess water. You'll see the excess water looking like little bubbles in the film. Make sure you're really precise with this. I find it super annoying when I find little bubbles in the background of my aquariums. Now using a standing blade or a sharp knife, cut away the excess film. The sharper the knife, the easier it is to cut. But obviously be more careful when you're doing this, you don't want to end up cutting yourself. You can use the glass as a guide by cutting at a 45 degree angle, but be careful you don't want to scratch the glass or damage the silicon on the aquarium. Finally with the bench scraper I'm just going to go over the film again. I just want to make sure I got all the excess water out so there's no bubbles later on. And this is what the background looks like when it's all done. As you can see there's no bubbles and it looks really nice and clean. I thought I would show you some footage of the frosted background in a setup aquarium. I like the clean look of the frosted background with this Hillstream Aquarium. It also makes the hardscape pop out a little bit more. The colours of the hardscape look more vibrant in my opinion. I know many aquascapers like to use this kind of background in their aquascapes as it helps to give them more sense of depth in their scapes. And this will help to make the scape look more aesthetically pleasing. The only downside I can think about when using this background is that if you get any algae building up on the back of the aquarium, you'll see it straight away. Here's a different type of background you can use. In my jungle aquascape aquarium, I'm using a black background instead. You can see how using a different colour can really change the appearance of the tank. And here's what the black background looks like in a setup aquarium. I found that the black background makes all the colours pop a little bit more. The dark background really contrasts with the greens of the plants. Also with the black background it helps to really make the colours of the fish stand out a lot more. My chilli reservoirs look super colourful in this setup with a black background. But I think if they were in an aquarium with a frosted background the colours wouldn't stand out as much. The black background also helps to hide any algae that grows in the back of the aquarium. I think I've only cleaned the back of the glass once or twice since I set up this aquarium. It's almost impossible to see any algae growing on the back of the aquarium. The only negative I have with using a black background in your aquascape is that it can kind of make it, the whole scape look a bit too dark. I think at the moment most aquascapers are using a frosted white background like the one in my Hillstream Aquarium. The frosted white background looks more clean and modern in my opinion. I hope that showing you the two different backgrounds I use can help show you the effect of what a background can do to your aquascape. So I hope you found this video useful. If you want to use the same backgrounds I've used, I'll leave some links in the description and in the comments below. Leave a comment telling me what background you prefer, I'm really interested to see what you guys think. 